we had really limited means. And I remember one time I was frustrated. You know, we've helped so many people. Why aren't others helping us, you know? And I, I remember one day kind of just stood up outside. I remember quite vividly, just put my hand in. When I grow up, I'm going to help somebody else. From Boston to Yerevan, Edward Avedisian has touched the Armenian community in myriad ways. His last name has been carved into many of the most prestigious educational establishments and higher education institutions in the United States and Armenia. A wonderful person. Uh, he was uh, very kind, uh, soft-spoken, but well, he was a musician. Benevolent spirit, strategic thinking, penetrating vision, and fierce determination. He was one of the single of the modest and humble donors to our country. Met Navirumov, by chat met Lerutyam, aret aimpisi met Gort, orvor kanel Hoseng, chat kiche. Ed's dedication was unwavering. He was deeply committed to Armenia. There's no one that I respect more than Ed Adabadijian. Uh, he's a very unusual human being. Avedisian was born in Pawtucket, Rhode Island in 1937. From a young age, his Kharapetzi parents, Horan and Shushanik Avedisian, instilled the value of education in him and his siblings, Paramaz, Zavart, and Paul. From an early age, Ed developed a strong love of music, as his parents loved music and encouraged him to play the clarinet in school. The only concern his father voiced was that it would be difficult to earn enough to make a living for himself and a family. Therefore, it is no surprise that Edward excelled in his own educational pursuits, eventually attending Boston University on a scholarship which earned him both a bachelor's and a master's degree in music. But it was Ed's dream and desire, and likely that is why he was always pursuing other sources of income, teaching students while still in high school, taking various odd jobs, and later getting involved in the financial markets. His early exposure blossomed into a decorated professional career as a clarinetist with the Boston Pops for 30 years and with the Boston Ballet Orchestra for 43 seasons. Avedisian's musical exploits brought him home to Armenia. Ed's devotion to Armenia was manifested first as a musician, guest performing with orchestras in Yerevan, then in using his connections to create benefit concerts in the U.S. to generate relief funds following the 1988 earthquake. Avedisian had a proclivity for business literature and media. His interest in the world of finance led him to achieve some of his greatest accomplishments, which, in turn, was what allowed him to become such a seminal pillar in AUA's growth. Avedisian and his wife Pamela dedicated their newfound wealth to a myriad of projects locally in the United States as well as abroad in Armenia. When Ed learned of the founding of the American University of Armenia and the newly independent nation, Avedisian immediately latched on to this ambitious endeavor, sponsoring the establishment of the Center for Business Research and Development, CBRD, and the Center for Health Services Research, CHSR. Uh, he committed uh, $1.5 million towards endowments for two of our research centers. Uh, one was named after his sister, uh, Onanian, Center for Health Services Research and Development, and one was named after his brother, a Polavetician Center for Business Research and Development. Avedisian was the principal donor and chair of the construction committee for the 100,000 square foot avant-garde AUA Paramas Avedisian building, which was completed in 2008. I must say that the opening of this building opened a very new horizon for AUA. Uh, it made us able to uh, start undergraduate programs. We could not have done this without this new building. And of course, the undergraduate programs made the university what it is today uh, of our more than 2,100 students, about 1,500, 1,600, more than two, three-fourths 
our undergraduate students. In never failing to recognize hard work, Ed Avedizin sponsored the Dr. Judson King Endowed Professorship and Dr. William Fraser Endowed Professorship at AUA in honor of two fellow board members who had contributed enormously to the university's advancement. Beyond his generosity towards AUA, he also sponsored the complete renovation of the high school in the Hachtanak village, along with the installation of lights and trees at the Tsitsarnak Abert Armenian Genocide Memorial. During the 2000s, Avedisian drove his philanthropy to new heights. From 2004 to 2005, he served as the sole benefactor and chair of the AUA Oversight Committee for the Nork Marash Medical Center with the hopes of raising the quality of hospital standards to a U.S. benchmark. As an AMAA board and committee member, he founded the award-winning Koran and Shushanik Avedisian K-12 school, as well as the Seven Building Community Center complex located in Malatya, Sepastia, Armenia. The big thing about this school is, which we insisted on as a family, was it it be in an area where kids were deprived, where there was a, not a good family situation, where the financial means were extremely limited, and when uh, the AMA came to me one time and said, you know, we've looked all over, but we could only find this one place. We don't think you're interested. Well, tell me, what is it? Mm -hmm. Well, it's in this place called Bangladesh, and you know, uh, it's run down, and uh, I don't think you, you'll be interested. Kids don't have anything. I said, that's exactly where we want to be. And with that uh, was a kickoff to the next 15 years, and here we are today. Ed treasured the Avedisian school because he saw the impact of breaking the cycle of poverty and helping students reach their full potential. Today, all Avedisian high school student graduates have pursued higher education. Ed savored the notion of handing the first Avedisian high school AUA graduate her diploma. These kids can go to AUA, it's need blind, it's just a matter of do you have the educational standards? Can you pass these exams? And for that you need to be educated. And that's what we want, hope to do and let these kids go off and on their own. And many years later when they're successful they can come back and pay back to the Avedisian school and also to AUA. So we're very excited about this concept. Melania. <laughs> Back in his home of Rhode Island, Avedisian established the Paramas Avedisian Pharmacy Scholarship at the University of Rhode Island, as well as the Chobanian Professorship at the Boston University Medical School, the Boston University Tanglewood Scholarship, his generosity has placed his name on an endowed chair in perpetuity for the Boston Ballet Orchestra. His final philanthropic gift was his 100 million donation to Boston University to rename the BU School of Medicine to the Chobanian and Avedisian School of Medicine. His support also granted scholarships and funded cutting edge research and education. As usual, Ed Avedisian did not want his name on any building, but rather hoped to solely dedicate the building to his childhood friend Dr. Aram V. Chobanian. It was only upon the latter's insistence that Avedisian's name was also included, establishing the new Boston University Medical School as the Aram V. Chobanian and Edward Avedisian School of Medicine. Education, humanitarian institutes, modest but brilliant, unassuming, you know, no limelights for them. They do their own thing very quietly. And it's such a treat to be connected to them and to have our name and, co and connections. He was, as I mentioned, one of the single ones. He never wanted his name to be in anywhere. And uh, all my par private conversations with him ended up, oh, Ashut, you know, 
Oh, you know who the guy is that I'm naming after him. So who am I that something will be on my name? You just can't put your name on something. I can't. But what is it bringing to where it's going? Are you going to just throw money at it? Or are you really looking for something? And in this case, yes, I am. What we're looking for is connecting the past, bringing it to the present, and hopefully continues on into the future. He has and will always serve as a shining example for generations to come. His legacy will live on in the numerous buildings and initiatives he founded, which bear the names of his loved ones. It is deeply gratifying to me knowing that all we have contributed has impacted the lives of so many, particularly the children, and that the impact doesn't end with Ed and me. All the students, professors, administrators, etc., that have benefited from our projects will further impact Armenia for decades to come. It's truly a never-ending circle of commitment. We celebrate their personal successes and all that it has contributed to strengthening Armenia. It has brought great meaning to our lives. As much as we have enriched the lives of others, we also have been greatly enriched. Avadisin passed away on December 7, 2022 in Boston, Massachusetts, surrounded by his loving wife and family. He devoted himself to philanthropy and charity, all while selflessly keeping his name out of the limelight. After I graduated, I began to meet some success. And I back, went back to one professor and I said, look, you helped me a lot. I want to pay you back. He was Italian and it didn't take long for him to get beat red and give me a sermon. And then he finally said, look, do you want to really uh, pay me? I said, yes, yes, yes. Do it for somebody else. Distinguished guests, I'm Narek. It's my distinct honor to be the MC at today's Edward Avedisian Memorial event. Please note that there are uh, headphones on the right side of your armchairs for simultaneous translation. Hargeli huired, hamantats tark manchisian hamar nachates vats akanjakalnere tegader vats en baskatori ach gormo. Today we have gathered to celebrate the remarkable life of an incredible man. Mr. Edward Avedisian has touched the lives of many. His philanthropic work had no borders. From guiding and mentoring the next generation of young minds to supporting families and institutions, Mr. Avedisian has impacted many of our lives. Every day when I arrive to work at this wonderful institution and I walk across, across Mr. Aramaz Avedisian's statue, welcoming us through the doors of the PAB building, I'm constantly reminded of the kindness and the commitment of the Avedisian family. Today, we will hear from, the, from individuals representing the institutions Mr. Avedisian and his family supported and continue to support. Afterwards, we will enjoy an exceptional musical performance dedicated to Mr. Avedisian. Once the official program is over, we will gather at the AUA Bestian Cafeteria to raise a glass in the memory of the great man. Now, I would like to invite AUA President Dr. Armen Der Gurerian to the podium to give his welcoming remarks. Thank you, Narek. Dear members of the extended Avetician family, dear guests, dear colleagues, we are gathered here to celebrate the life and legacy of a person who through his generosity changed the course of this university as well as those of many other educational institutions in Armenia and in the United States. On behalf of the university, and our co-sponsors of this event, the Armenian Missionary Association of America, 
I welcome you here and thank you for your participation. The son of Armenian genocide survivors, Edward Avetisian, was born in 1937 in Pataket, Rhode Island. He grew up in an immigrant neighborhood where he attended public school and served as president of his graduating class. He furthered his education on a scholarship to Boston University. Avetisian's professional career spanned four disciplines, performing symphony uh, musician, university professor, arts administrator, and consumer investor and philanthropist. Avetisian graduated from Boston University's College of Fine Arts with a bachelor's degree in music in 1959 and master's degree in 1961. In 1970s, he served as the choral director of Endicott College and then as a clarinetist with the Boston Pops for 35 years and with the Boston Ballet Orchestra for 43 seasons. He performed outside the United States as a soloist with the Armenian State Philharmonic, the Armenian Radio and TV Orchestra, and the National Chamber Orchestra of Armenia. He was also a visiting artist on Boston's sister city of Hangzhou, China. Avetisian was extraordinarily successful as an investor and used his investment profits for charitable causes, causes primarily in the area of education. In a letter dated March 2nd, 1998, and addressed to the then president of AUA, Dr. Harton Arminian, Edward Avetisian wrote, this letter will document conversations with your organization regarding my plans for establishing a fitting memorial for my brother Paramas. As I have stated, I'm considering two possibilities. One possibility would be at the American University of Armenia in Yerevan, and the other at the University of Rhode Island in the USA. Both of these educational institutions were of special interest to him. He was an alumnus of University of Rhode Island and had a deep appreciation and affection for his alma mater. Of equal import he, uh, to, to him was his interest in AUA, which was the result of an in-depth personal tour he had in 1995. He marveled at the progress that was made in such a short time, but saw that the facilities were no match for what Armenia would need going forward into the 21st century. He also saw the danger of expanding it to a different area of the city because of many problems that would present socially, financially, and politically. His commitment was, and he puts this in quotation, wouldn't it be nice to put up another building here right next to the present one? Being an Armenian, my first choice is to propose, in quotation, another building right next to the uh, present one, named in his honor, for which I will provide 100% funding. Failing that, I will do something on that scale at the University of Rhode Island. The AUA Board of Trustees considered and readily approved the proposal by Avetisian and President Armenian was directed to find an appropriate land in the vicinity of the Bagramian building. After many trials and much negotiations with the Yerevan municipality, the university was permitted to build on the south edge of the Triangle Park. The building was designed by alternate Porter Architects in Los Angeles, assisted by uh, Isahak Nersesian of LVN Architects in Yerevan. This, the design commenced in 2002 and construction was completed in 2008. A statue of Paramas Avetisian, its brother, adores the entrance hall of the building. The Paramas Avetisian building, 
or PAB as it is affectionately known within AUA, dramatically changed the course of the university. With modern classrooms, conference rooms, faculty and administrative offices, an auditorium, an art gallery, and a cafe, the building provided an opportunity for the university to grow. Undergraduate degree programs were established in 2013, and several additional undergraduate and graduate degree programs were initiated in subsequent years. As a result, the number of our degree programs went from 7 to 19, and our student population went from around 400 in 2008 to around 2,100 today, more than a five-fold increase. The generosity of Ed and Pamela Avetisian towards AUA is not limited to the PAB. In December 1998, they provided two endowments, one for the CBRD, named after Ed's brother, Paul Avetisian, and for the, one for the CHSR, the Center for Health Services Research, named after his sister, Zwart Avetisian Onanian. More recently, Ed and Pamela Avetisian established endowed professorships in honor of two University of California provosts who served as chairs of the AUA Board of Trustees. One named William, Saro I'm sorry, William Fraser Endowed Professorship is now occupied by Professor Narine Sarvazian, who joined us from George Washington University. The other is named uh, C. Judson King Endowed Professorship. We will soon announce the holder of this position. Edward Abitissian was elected as a member of the AUSC Board of Trustees in 1999. He made many, many insightful contributions to the strategic thinking behind the rapid growth of the university. He was always thoughtful and innovative with his suggestions and served as an influential member of the board until his passing. In 2017, he received the inaugural, inaugural Presidential Commendation Award of AUA, the highest honor bestowed by this university. This was for in recognition of extraordinary achievements and distinguished service in the advancement of education in Armenia. He is also the recipient of the Distinguished Alumnus of the Year Award from Boston University's College of Arts in 2008, the prestigious Ellis Island Medal of Honor in 2016, and twice recipient of the Moses Horonasi Medal from the President of Armenia, one in 2008 and one in 2014. Besides their contributions to the AUA, Edward and Pamela Vatissian have made very significant contributions to education institutions in Armenia and in the United States. In 1998, they founded the Avetisian School in the Malatya Sebastia district of Yerevan, operated by the AMAA, as a tuition free kindergarten for students from economically disadvantaged families. The current K 12 grade school building, which was officially opened on September 1, 2014, is the first building in the Republic of Armenia to achieve a sil silver. LEED certificate, and also awarded the LEED Earth designation. The school was Avetisian's dream to honor his genocide survivor, survivor parents, Horan and Shushanik Avetisian, who had placed an extraordinarily high value on education throughout their lives. Later today, we will hear remarks by the principal of that school. Ed and Pamela Abetisian also made major contributions to advancing the North Marash Medical Center, to the renovation of a high school in Hachtanak village, and to beautification of Tsitsernak Aper's General uh, Genocide Memorial. In the U.S., there are major benefactors to the National Association for Armenian Studies and Research, 
the University of Rhode Island, Boston University, as you heard earlier, and the Boston Ballet Orchestra. The American University of Armenia is fortunate to have had Edward Aslanian as a board member, uh, Edward Avetisian as a board member, as a benefactor, as a, and as a thoughtful supporter who facilitated major growth and advancement of this university. His legacy will always remain present in our university and in our minds and hearts. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Tarkurakian. Please now allow me to introduce Dr. Lawrence Pitts, Chair of the AUA Board of Trustees. Dr. It's a privilege for me to represent the uh, Board of Trustees in celebrating, helping celebrate the life of Ed, and a particular honor to be able to single out Ed as one of the fantastic trustees. Many of us know an individual through one particular window into their life, and my window into Ed's life had to do with AUA. But as you've heard from the previous presentations, and you'll hear more from the other presenters, his life was very broad and centered around education, but nonetheless very broad. I learned at, one, at a celebration in Boston uh, earlier this spring about his ties to music, particularly in education in music, where he was a mentor to many young musicians. And at that uh, memorial service, there was an orchestra of his previously mentored students. It was absolutely moving, and you'll hear more an emphasis in his life uh, from the National Philharmonic Orchestra. Ed was a dream trustee. As you can imagine, trustees are all over the map in terms of personalities and skills. Ed was thoughtful, quiet. When he spoke, you listened carefully because he was a very, very wise trustee. He grew with AUA starting in 1999, so he was a trustee for 23 years, a long time. He saw the university evolved during that period of time. He participated in guiding the evolution of the university. And in his mind, education was an investment in the country and the So education was Ed's way to accentuate his belief that you look to the past, you invest in the present, and you hope that this will lead to a better future. And that's exactly uh, what Ed's involvement and uh, dedication has been. Um, the philanthropy that Ed has engendered has not stopped. Uh, AUA recognizes that there's a lot that the university can provide for the uh, value to Armenia in the future. We have to grow to do that. And I'm delighted to announce that, the, uh, that uh, Pamela Avedisian, uh, in really in honor of Ed, has made a substantial contribution to the growth of the university in the coming year. So you'll hear and see much more about that as time goes on. The board is so grateful to Ed for his service, his dedication to the university, uh, and we miss him a great deal. He was a gentle, wise person. The board elected him as an emeritus trustee in January, shortly after his death, and we were very sad at his loss but so proud of our association with him. And so, to Ed Avedisian, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Peets. 
To continue with our remarks, please allow me to introduce Mr. Armen, uh, Aden, excuse me, Mr. Aden Dermenjian, the Armenian representative of Armenian Missionary Association of America, AMAA. Armenjian. There is so much to say about Ed, so, uh, but I'll try to keep it short. Um, Abraham Lincoln once said, the most reliable way to predict the future is to create it. While, uh, while I had only met Ed once in person, it was visible that his stance on the matter of education being Armenia's best bet towards a bright future was uncompromising. And he backed up that belief with much more than just words. Perhaps more than any other person, he was both a visionary and a doer, a trait that Armenia deeply misses in its leaders today. The two institutions he helped create are standing tall in Armenia's landscape as beacons of hope. Both AUA and Avedisian School are shaping a new generation of capable individuals who think differently, who want to help bring change, and who love Armenia. It is no coincidence that these are qualities that Ed himself impersonated. Surely his frequent visits to meet students were inspirational, not only through what he spoke to the students, but also in the way he carried himself in life. Sometimes we are more impacted by such intangible things than what is said to us. Ed's legacy lives on because his ideas, the ideas he portrayed were immortal. It is up to us to live by them and to make sure we pass them on to others. Dear Pamela, the AMA is proud that you have committed to continue the good work that Ed set in place. We will do everything together to make sure his dreams are realized to the full. Thank you. Thank you, Arin. Next, I would like to welcome Ms. Melania Geramian, the principal of the AMAA Choren and Shushanik Avedisian School. Metargo Nahagautsun, Patvarjanda Sahosner, Hargeli Hurer, Barekamner and Kerner, Yeviarke, Shatsireli, Tikim Pamela. Josele Davetisiani Masin, Yevch Tvarkel, Narahai Tesaki Arjanik Nera, Parzapes Anhanare, Yevaisos Volor Suzvatank, Huzvatank Nera Bari, Ashatank Neri Hamar. Yes, work san hing tari yer jang kuchune monetel moti ki chup felu hai ye fairena sirachu fairena siruchan ais iska kam ti par martu het kahamar chakven patmel dera masin ye vda kane meta guin sirof che mozumasel yer ku khoskov yer ku khoska shat kiche borof hete vedi masin patmelis. Մի ամբողջ չայրենասիրական վեպի նյութ կարող եմ թվարկել։ Ես կթվարկեմ ընդհանրապես 3 գից, այդ ավետիսյանի 3 հատկանիշ, որոնցով կփորձեմ ներկայացնել նվիրալ հային, բարերարին, մարդ մեծատառով։ Ով էր, օրկանոսից այն կողմ իրազգի ուրախությունով, հոգսերով, նեղություններով ու ցավերով ապրող Meka of the Sirakvat Linelov, Haikakam Barepas Tantanikum, Mankavas Novitz, Karelet Hairina Sidat Hoxa, Sephakan Ahamarelu, Yev Nerialin, Oknutan Zerk Meknelu, Angna Hateli, Daser. Edavetisani Hamar Bartraguin Arjeket Kurtuchuna. Նահամոզված էր եւ մեր մանկավարժների հետ հանդիպումների ժամանակ բազմիցս կրկնել է 
որ իսկական հայրենասերը իր երկրի ապագամպիտի տեսնի կրթված սերնդի մեջ։ Ազգին պետք է տա ուսիալ զավակներ։ Ընդվորում արդեն երևանում կրթության մասին նրա տեսիլքը նոր թևեր և մարմի նարավ։ Ինչից էլ ձևավորվեց այն նոր գաղափարը, այն էր կրթություն, բայց ոչ սոսկ դպրոցական այլ կրթություն մանկապարտեզից մինչև համալսարան տեսիլքի մարդ։ Նրախորին համոզմամբ ահա թե ինչն է պետք բոլոր ամվի ծարայի հայ մանկավարժի արջև։ Եդ ավետիսյանի հենց այս տեսլականով էլ այսօր արդեն հայտնի ավետիսյան դպրոցը 1999 նթվականին ծնուն դարավ որպես մանկապարտես, իսկ այսօր նաև ունենալով 7 սերունդ ներկայացուցիտ շրջանավարդներ։ Նրա մեծ երազանքը կրթություն չնդատվող շխտան իրականություն դարձավ։ Այսօր մեր դպրոցը շնորի վետավետիսյանի և նրան միացած համախողների ամերիկյան համաս Եվ ուրախության պուզում եմ ասել, որ դեկ տեմբերից մինչ որս ավելացավ այս թիվը ամերիկյան համասանի ավետիսյան դպրոցի ուսանողներով նաև չորսով։ Մյուսը, որի մասին պետք է բոլոր նիմանան մեկ այլ հայկական գիտելիքների ասպարեզում մեջ շրջանավարդների հաջողություններին ծանոթանալով հաղթանակներին, մրցանակներին ու ձիպլոմներին էդը հղացավ մի նոր գաղափար։ Դիմել կրթության, գիտության, մշակույթի և սպորտի նախարարությա� կարողանան տաս երկու ամյակրթությունից հետո ընդումվեն ամերիկյան համալսարան։ Սա իրոք մեծ հարգանքի արժանի մեծ հայ զավակի աշխատանք էր։ Եվ էրդինը բարեկամներ, իր բազմաթիվ այցլությունների ժամանակ ավետի դա նաև կահաստատի մեր սիրելի տիկեն պամելան, որը նույնպես դարձել էր և մնում է ավետիսյան դպրոցի թանկագին բարեկամն ու հարազատը։ Բարարյարին շրջապատում էին մանկավարժները, հարկիցար կուղեկցում բարցր դասանցիները, � Նա ինքն ապրում էր մեր աշխատակազմի կյանքով, գիտեր յուրականչուրիս հոգսը, փորձում էր մասնակցել մեր խնդիրների լուծմանը, այո, այո, խնդիրների լուծմանը, դրանք լինեին կենսական, կենցաղային և թե առողջական Եվ առաջին հերթին էդի սիրելի կրթոջախներ, իր պայպայաց մանուկը մայր հողի վրա հայրենիքում, նա հայրենիք նուզում էր տեսնել այսպիսին, կուր ու ժեղ միածույլ ու սյալ։ Մենք շատ բան ունենք սովորելու է դավետիսյանից, հատկանիշը ծանկացած հանգամանքում, և թե ինչպիսին պետք է լինի իսկական հայրենաս էր մարդը, ստացանք մեծ դասը մեր սիրելի բարերար է դավետիսյանից։ Երանի յուրականչուրս մի կիչ է դավետիսյան լինենք, այդ ժամիր
Thank you, Ms. Geramian. Today we got, we got to hear all about Mr. Avatician's vision, and I'm thrilled to welcome our next speaker, who's a living proof of Mr. Avatician's vision for the future. I got to know this remarkable young lady a few years ago when Mr. Avatician sent a special request to AUA to have Lucina's photo taken with AUA president and the principal of the Avatician school as she had graduated from both institutions. Without getting too much into the details, please help me welcome to the podium, Lucine Munatsakanyan. Thank you so much for the opportunity to talk about Mr. Ravetistian. He indeed dedicated his life into transforming the educational system in Armenia and helping students like me to achieve their potential and dreams. As we witnessed in the video, his dream was to establish an educational system in Armenia, spanning from kindergarten to university. In just a few days, I will be walking in the same stage receiving my second degree from AUA. Today, I'm privileged to lead the Armenia team at an American marketing agency, leveraging the skills and education that I gained at AUA and Avetistan High School. But I'm not alone in my accomplishments. All 15 of my classmates from the school have gone on to pursue higher education and eventually secure managerial positions. Imagine the overwhelming mix of emotion a student feels from their graduation day. I was both scared and confused, but also excited about the future. I didn't know what it held for me, and I didn't know how to contribute to Armenia. And when I needed the guidance the most, I crossed paths with Mr. Avetisian. He shared this precious words with me. The greatest gift you can give to others is your time. And this were not just words from him. He himself was living by this mission. Mr. Avetisian invested his time in us and personally mentored me in choosing my career path in marketing. He helped me understand my strengths and weaknesses through countless email exchanges and guided me to a field that today I'm truly passionate about. Beyond our virtual conversations, I also led the tours Mr. Avedisian organized for student, for distinguished guests visiting Avedisian School. Through these experiences, he infected me with his vision of being a forward thinker, hard worker, and someone who strives to create a better future for Armenia. But this story wouldn't be complete without the dedication and support Mrs. Pamela Avetisian. And let me tell you a heartwarming story about her. This was a few years ago during our graduation ceremony when I witnessed your commitment to us, when you were trying to remember our long Armenian names and surnames, it was very hard, but you diligently worked extra hard to be able to produce all of our names so that all of us felt celebrated and acknowledged. After graduating from AUA, I had the opportunity to continue my career in the United States. This was a dream come true, and I was excited to explore new horizons. However, it didn't took me long to realize that something was missing. The teachings of Mr. Avetisian, AUA and Avetisian School echoed in my mind, reminding me that the greatest gift we can give to each other is our time. That our skills, education and knowledge are needed right here at home. With a deep sense of responsibility, I came back just like Mr. Avetisian envisioned. Today, I'm honored to stand in front of you as a living proof of Ms. Ravadisian's impactful impact. Let us continue to invest in the minds of younger generation. Let us help them flourish and reach greater heights. Together, we can build a better future for Armenia, just like Ms. Ravadisian envisioned. By now, we are all aware of Mr. Avedisian's love for music, especially the clarinet. As we began, as we began planning uh, this event from the very beginning, it was very clear that there had to be a special performance dedicated to Mr. Avedisian. 
Now please help me to welcome to the stage the Armenian National Philharmonic Orchestra, led by artistic director and principal conductor Eduard Topchan, along with soloist Arsene Grigorian, who will perform clarinet by, by Mozart, clarinet concerto Ador. We are grateful for Maestro Topchan, who interrupted his tour in Moscow, to be here with us today.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to inform you that the tradition of Avitician philanthropy has not stopped with Ed's passing. Pamela has committed a very substantial donation towards the construction of humanities and social sciences and an arts building on lands that we have acquired on the north side of our campus. This new contribution will allow us to vastly expand the physical capacity of our campus and to develop new academic programs and facilities in the next few years. Pam, we are eternally grateful for your generosity. It is my distinct honor now to invite Pamela to the podium to share with us her thoughts and remembrances of Ed. Pam, as a very small but perhaps meaningful uh, gift from the university to remember this day, uh, we have this handcrafted wooden box, typical of Armenian handcraft. We hope that you will use it, put in it your love, your pictures or whatever you like inside. So, okay. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. I'm delighted to be back in Armenia once again. However, I'm also very sad to be here without Ed. I'm so glad that we got to make our last trip together in October of 2019, as difficult as that was for him. I'm thankful to everyone here at AUA for putting together such a beautiful and meaningful service. It is appropriate to celebrate Ed here in Armenia surrounded by all those at AUA, at the Avarisian School, and elsewhere, who have been so impacted by his kindness and generosity. I'm doing my best to fill his extremely large shoes and look forward again to returning to Armenia and to AUA. Thank you all on behalf of myself and the Avarisian family. <laughs> 